Hey everyone, how's it going? And today I'm going to be making a storm cloud effect using Ultimate VFX Particle Pack. So you can see the effect right now, what our final output will be like. The other great thing about this effect is that you can also make it just using the default particle system, so you don't have to own Ultimate VFX Particle Pack to be able to follow along. Uh, your results won't be obviously exactly like uh, what I showed you earlier on, but you'll get this effect instead. And you can see this is just made only using the default particle systems material. So really the only difference is that you uncheck texture sheet animation, and with the exact same settings, you can get this effect. As for Ultimate VFX Particle Pack, if you do want it, you can grab it off the Unity Asset Store. And, I mean, you get a lot of stuff with it. You can see all the prefabs for Storm, the expansion pack, right here. So, you get all that, plus all the prefabs from the main pack. Not only that, but you also get this uh, simple game demo scene where you can see how to use Ultimate VFX Particle Pack in a way that, you know, makes sense in, a, in an actual environment where you'd be making a game. Right, so all these planets, for example, uh, you can see how the scene is set up here. You can see this is all made with particles. So just to start, uh, I'm going to take the already existing prefab for storm clouds, and I'm going to create a new prefab out of it by dropping it into that loop, uh, pre looping prefabs folder. I'm not actually going to be using any of these presets because I want to show you how to start from scratch. The only one that I'm going to leave is the point lights. Right. So you can see it's already made down here. I'm going to rename it to Storm Clouds 2 because it already exists otherwise. Okay, name it up here. And then get rid of these. And hit apply. So we're going to start off with the default particle system. First we're going to go into shape, set it to box emitter. Uh, set the start speed to zero so it doesn't do that. Set the X and Z to 50 so that it covers more than the plane below it, the area of the game I guess you could say. We set this to about 5 and lift it up 10 or 15 meters, whatever works for you. Then I'm going to go to Renderer, and I'm going to change the material to search for Puff, and I'm going to use the one with the Alpha Blending Shader. Enable Texture Shade Animation, set this to 4 by 4 because that's the number of tiles we have in this sprite sheet. So it's a total of 16 tiles. We want to select one randomly from 0 to 16. Then you can increase the start size and decrease the emission. And then change the color over lifetime so it fades in and out. So to do that, just select, uh, click around here in the center, set this to 50, select the first point, set the alpha to zero, select the last point, set the alpha to zero so it fades in and out. Let's see what that looks like here. Then I want to increase the start size, but you'll notice after a while it doesn't get any bigger. That's just because of the render settings here. Uh, we want to change the max particle size possible to eight times the screen size. And then it can make it huge if we wanted to. Next, we want these to be clouds uh, at the top. So we'll change the render mode from just regular billboard to horizontal billboard. So it's always like this. And then we can change the start size again and turn the opacity down got this sort of effect. You can also mess around with size over lifetime as an added bonus if you wanted to. Maybe have it kind of come in and a little bit smaller, 
get a little bit bigger and then a little bit smaller again just for that extra bit of animation. You can randomize the start size from some large values. So you kind of have some cloud looking things now. You can see what that looks like. You can have them moving a little bit as well in uh, random directions. So just check this on and change the start speed and adjust that. If you have re-simulate checked, uh, you can see the changes in real time. So we don't want to move too much, but a good amount. I'll leave that at 50. You can even color it if you wanted to, for whatever reason. Okay. If you feel like these aren't enough particles, you can always mess with this value here. Next, we're going to have another set of particle systems. I'm actually going to duplicate this, though. Uh, that are just kind of going down. And for that, I'm going to use another sprite sheet or material. I'm going to use smoke. Let's just find smoke alpha. Like that. Let's stop this so I only see this one. That's what that looks like, which is pretty cool as well. So you can keep that, maybe if you wanted to move it down a bit. But for the effect that we're going for, we want this to be kind of falling down a little bit to create kind of a sky fog effect. So for that, put it back to billboard. And this is an 8x8 eight eight sprite sheet. If you don't click this, you can see that here. And so for this, we want something between maybe, I don't know, 24 and 32. Let's just start size. This is the wrong smoke effect. It's from the other particle pack. Uh, we want something not from inf, which means VFX, the inferno VFX. We want something from ultimate. So I'll just find the alpha. There it is. Okay. And then we want this slowly going down, so we're going to turn on force over lifetime, and then turn this down a bit. You could also mess with gravity, but I feel I have more control here. Set this to random, between two constants, so negative 0.5, will do. Random start sizes. And I want some random rotation as well. Actually, I want the same thing, random rotation for this as well. I forgot to do that. Okay. So you have this effect going on now, which is pretty cool. I can say that. I'm making the tutorial. Okay, so the next thing you want is, um, and you can hit apply on this, by the way, to save the prefab. Um, actually, you can even pre-warm this so you see it immediately. The next thing you might want to do is change the color. This. Okay, after that, we want some sort of a. Uh, want to look like there's some sort of lightning going on in the sky. So for that, we increase the emission. We'll keep the emission there. Set this to 0.2. Right. So you have this sort of effect. So random between two constants. Sometimes it's going to be very quick. Sometimes it'll be a bit longer. Lighter, maybe a bit bigger as well. Right. So it's a really stormy sky. Turn that down a bit. There you go. If you want to take this down a bit so it 
shows more. And if you hit apply, you can simply set this to play. And if you scroll up, you'll see your new prefab. And see what it looks like in kind of a scene if you wanted to check that as well. Alright, and that's it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thanks for watching.